Hello and welcome amigos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy chicken mole recipe. For your quick and easy chicken mole recipe, you need nothing other than your rotisserie chicken from your favorite store. Five cups of hot water. To your hot water, you want to add three tablespoons of chicken bouillon and make sure to adjust to taste. You're going to need one whole cup of my personal favorite, Mole Doña Maria. And if you need help opening this cup, go ahead and look at the top of your cap and it's going to show you exactly how to do it. And don't throw away that cup once you're done. No, wash it. This is a family heirloom. <laughs> Toasted sesame seeds. To your dish, you want to add half a cup of your chicken broth. And you want to start shredding your chicken. The rotisserie chicken is really saving lives right now, isn't it? It really is. It's saving my time. You know, homeschooling kids is not easy, mm -hmm. let alone watching them all day. So this cuts a corner, friends, and your whole family is going to be super happy. And it's still real because you're real. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, grocery stores, for making our life easier. Right. <laughs> you think you want to stop filming and come and shred this chicken for us? <laughs> <laughs> Cloud really does shred the best chicken. I know some of you shred it in your stand mixer, but Cloud just does it perfect. She does she does it to where it looks like a Mexican shredded chicken, you know? All those years of doing hard labor in the kitchen when I was younger. <laughs> you know what? We should do a whole chicken segment to where you can teach everybody how to shred their chicken. I just like <laughs> tedious jobs. I like cleaning beans. I like shredding chicken, you know, all those things. You have to be sweet to be able to do that, and I appreciate your sweetness. Oh, stop it. All right, all right. Get in here, girl. Come Get in here. <laughs> and once your sweetheart shreds your chicken, you want to place your chicken into the warm chicken broth to keep it nice and juicy. The theme for today is to keep it juicy. Keep it juicy. So for the family members that you have that they have to have the bone in, in this occasion, you can just take the skin off. And most of the time, this chicken stays hot for a very long time. So if for some reason your chicken is not hot and it's cold, you can place it into a pan with a little bit of the chicken broth, put it at a low, and all that broth is gonna steam up your chicken and keep it nice and juicy. Oh, that's a good tip. And then if you wanna leave the skin on, you can do that as well, right? You can do that as well, but I have selective eaters, just like everybody else, and that's not happening. But I do have a son that absolutely loves mole and he's so excited for this recipe. See, so you can just place it here. Nobody will ever know. Who's gonna know? Who's Nobody. gonna know? Tell me. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Not even your suegra. And friends, just an FYI, okay? I'm gonna say it. This is not traditional mole, but it sure tastes pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> Speaking of that, when will you give us the mole recipe? I will give you my mole recipe when we reach 1 million subscribers because it's that precious to me. Can't wait. Oh. And I don't mean to offend anybody when I'm making this mole. My goal is to get you guys fed. That's a good goal to have. Yeah, to keep you having fun in the kitchen. Now, doing the dishes, don't talk to me about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for you. Thanks, Cloud. I appreciate you. To your blender, you want to add the remaining chicken broth. Add your cup of mole doña maria. And you can enhance this paste, right? Like if you want sweeter or more nutty flavor. Yes, you can. You can. you can add peanut butter, you can add sugar. And some of our friends even add an extra chocolate from the abuelita, mm -hmm. but that just adds more sugar. <laughs> uh, more sweetness, right? Yeah, it does add more sweetness. I don't think the abuelita chocolate is chocolatey to me. Right. It tastes more, um, more sugary. Mm -hmm. But hey, make it comfortable for your home. And now we're gonna blend until smooth and we're gonna go max uh, three speed, okay? If you go really fast on the Vitamix, you're gonna change the color of your mole. And boom, done, amigos. Place your burner on a medium heat and you're gonna drizzle just a little bit of oil. Depending on the pan or pot that you're using, you don't want anything to stick to the bottom. Mine's already been coated with oil, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And next, you're gonna add your blended mole. And you're gonna wait for your sauce to come to a boil. Once your sauce comes to a boil, you wanna turn your burner on to about a low heat. You wanna continuously stir, so that means like every minute, make sure to come and stir your pot, just to make sure that nothing's sticking to the bottom because this sauce does get thick. You should continue to cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. After about 10 minutes, you wanna taste your sauce. 
If for some reason you feel it needs a little bit more salt or more flavoring, you can use about half a cup of warm water, add a little bit of chicken bouillon, and stir it gradually into your sauce. And once you reach your desired consistency for your sauce, you can go ahead and turn your burner off. And there you have it, a luxurious mole sauce. So yummy. I'm going to need somebody very special to say, uh, Buen provecho. Thank you. Mmm. If you've never had mole, this is a starter for you. It is a perfect starter for you. I want to know what type of mole do you guys like? Do you like it sweet or do you like it savory? Kyle, do you start first? I like mine more on the sweet side. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. So, so good. And I will tell you guys, I like mine savory. But as I'm getting older, I'm sure I'm going to love the sweetness. <laughs> She's calling us old, you guys. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm calling myself old. <laughs> or experienced. <laughs> yeah, that sounds better. a lot better, right? Mm -hmm. Friends, make sure to look in the description because I'm going to be sharing a lot of tips with you down below. Don't miss out. Or you can expand your in the common area. We're starting to pin it for you guys so that way you don't have to go and search anything. It's ready for you. Mmm, yummy. My rice came out so good today. It looks nice and vibrant. Nice and fluffy. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Who wants another bite? As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.